this one here? Uh, that is the office ticket. Oh, okay, over there. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Yeah. okay. What's going on, you beautiful people? Welcome to another video. Today we are going to the Malfi Coast and Positano. Now, obviously, we want to go there with the cheapest way possible. What we're going to do is take this bus, the Cedar bus, from here, Napoli, going to Amalfi straight for 470 euros. 470, less than five euros, all the way direct, cheap, easy, smooth, and hopefully fun. Really? Uh, up here. Yeah. Yes. I had this whole back row seat to myself. Taking a nap, uh, the boring parts I had a nap, but now you're here on the coastline actually driving to Amalfi and I'm enjoying the views, it's just amazing. The only problem is it's a bit tinted so I can't really see that well. <laughs> This is it, this driver drives like amazing. Welcome to Amalfi Coast! First impressions of this place, beautiful. The beach? Don't know too much about the beach, to be honest, the water is not that amazing, the, the, the sand is there's no sand, it's just little rocks. Doesn't look that amazing either. The cliff is beautiful, like everything is beautiful except the, the swimming situation. The actual landscape and the coast and everything, that does look pretty amazing. Now we're gonna go straight that way. We're gonna find out where we're gonna check out next. The thing is like a narrow here. The roads, the streets, the walkways, the paths, everything. This place looks pretty, pretty cool. We got my mate right here from the from the hostel. Doesn't want to be famous. <laughs> I want to be famous. Please don't make me famous. <laughs> He's been to uh, over 190 countries, pretty much all the countries in the world, almost, almost. But this place is chill. This is this is a bit better now. Let's see what ends up here. What's this side? Was a dead end. <laughs> Maybe it's... looks like a dead end, but let's find out. There is no Oh, Jesus. Getting a bit dark in here. Oh, we found some nice piazza. Alright, we're going up still. This is good, alright. Theater. All right, we're climbing the the cliff now, pretty much going uptown. Uptown funky what? Uptown funky what, what, what? So where's this place you said? North of Italy, that's more beautiful than here? Uh, Cinque Terre. Cinque Terre. Yes. Cinque Terre is the place that I will be going to check out. To be honest, I'm a little bit... Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to say it, right? If I do that, I'm a little bit over Italy, all right? That's the thing. What can I do? I'm a little bit over because I'm just sick of like scams and bullshit. And I mean, you know, like who can you trust? The police? Guess what? There are fake police here too. And I got almost got scammed yesterday, my first day, first hour in Napoli. I almost got scammed out of like 50 to 100 euros that they were asking for. But obviously, I'm a bit too pro for that shit, so I did not fall for that. And I didn't, I didn't pay them. Um, but full story on that, coming up on another video. I'm actually gonna put it up in, in, in the cards here so you can watch the video right after this. It's, uh, it's the story of how I almost got scammed by the fake police in Naples. All right, so you find these free water fountains all around Italy. And I think that's probably the only, no, not the only, one of the good things about Italy. One of the good things about Italy is that yeah, at least you get free water everywhere you go. And when you go to a restaurant, 
they ask you, oh, the tap water is not good. You have to order uh, still water or sparkling water. Obviously, that's their way of trying to get some extra money out of you. Um, but the tap water is perfectly fine. Even these uh, public waters are perfectly fine to drink. Um, you don't have to buy bottled water when you're in Italy. So yeah. <sighs> All right, we just come down this way, um, coming to the main shopping district where you can buy your overpriced tourist stuff. A bit more people than I expected, but yeah, still good. You want to see prices? Prices range from like pretty average actually, like seven, eight euros for like a pizza, a couple of euros for a slice. Don't know why the gold shop here, but some snacks and stuff as well. Well, this looks cool. All right, we walked up up here just a little bit while we're waiting for the bus and we got some good views as you can see this way. It looks pretty cool. Look at that. And the water down there. I think this place will look a lot better during sunset. So, so we just missed the bus on purpose so I can fly the drone again and give you some more footage. And now we're gonna go to catch the bus to Positano. But guess what? Before we go, enjoy this beautiful drone footage that I just took. Just got to Positano and guess what? It looks so much better here. Like the, the buildings, oh my God, that's gonna be amazing. Check it out. How awesome is this view? Oh my God, beautiful. So I was just looking at the menu over there and the prices are ridiculous here. Like you're looking at 22, 25 euros just for a small plate of pasta. Nothing fancy, nothing amazing. Just a little bit of pasta, 22 euros. So when it comes to beauty, I guess there's a price to pay, but I'm not gonna pay that price. So I don't know, we'll see. They put down like some signs, they say, please don't touch, please be careful, please don't touch, all that stuff. Here in Italy, we go like this. Hey, che cazzo, don't touch. No, please, just straight to it. Don't touch, or I will call the mafia. <laughs> this is the second most favorite part. Just down here, getting to the beach now. Wow, beautiful. Still no signs of um, normal price food, obviously. Not expecting that. Looks like we're gonna have to fork out quite a bit for just a, uh, a basic lunch. Let's look over here. Antipasto is 27 euros, so a fettuccine, 28 euros. Just a normal plate of pasta, 28 euros. Am I happy to pay 28 euros for a plate of pasta? It's a designer pasta, man. Definitely. It's a designer it's, pasta. It's gold. You, if you have that pasta, you will shit diamonds after. A lot of diamonds. Or just a lot. Is This place looks amazing. Um, there are way too many boats in the water. I can see about four, five, six, seven, eight. I would say at least 20 right here, like next to the water. 
So I'm not really looking to, forward to getting into the water at all. I'll check the water out, but it does not look like a beautiful beach that you swim in because all these boats and all their engine and the oil, all the situation gets in the water and it's just, and I've got a bit of a sensitive skin. If you watch my other vlogs, you know what I mean. Um, so definitely not getting in the water. I did bring my swimsuit, but yeah, I don't think I'm gonna get in the water. I'll have a look though. But what does look amazing is this right here. As you saw in the video, in the drone, in the drone footage, you can see it's just, ah, oh, unbelievable. And I would say it's so much better than a Malfi, for sure. If you have a very limited time, you don't wanna to spend too much time, definitely just come right here. Don't go to Malfi, just don't waste your time. Come down here to Positano, much better, much more beautiful and oh it's just just amazing i love it the problem is i can't afford to eat here and i'm hungry and i'm we're gonna go to sorrento anyway so that place is where we take the train back to naples um and that, apparently the sun actually sets that way so it's gonna like go that way and that's where um sorrento is so hopefully we get a good sunset at sorrento yeah eat some food and go from there Sorrento! Yay, the bus is here, let's go! Just got here to Sorrento, what's going on? And now we're gonna go um, check out the beach, I'd say. Guess what, we just had a pizza. <laughs> no surprises there. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is it. We are here next to the water, got a beer. I'm feeling full and good. The sunset, oh, right there, kind of missed it, but this place is so, whoa, quite high, it's amazing. <laughs> Check it out. It is pretty high, right? Look at this, what? And cool sunset there. Let's see if I can make it darker. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's beautiful. So let's just uh, fly the drone and see if we can catch some beautiful images. And uh, then I'll crack open the beer and finish the vlog. 